Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another new CD Tweaks video. So in today's video, I have some new tweaks to share with you guys. Some of those tweaks will be still working on iOS 12 and some of them is not update yet to uh, working with the new jailbreak, the Jake Rain iOS 13. But it might is going to be work. I will be update you guys once those CD Tweaks will be compatible and work with the iOS 13. Anyway, before I'm going to start today's video, let me ask you new guys to give the video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you will be notified always whenever I release a new CD at Weeks video. All right, let me jump right now to talking about the first CD at Week, and the first one is called Spoke. So this one, once you download it in your iDevice, for example, you guys know about that tiny loading wheel always in your device, no matter where, like for example, in your Cilio, Cydia, App Store, anywhere. So you can customize that and then you can put any kind of color to it. So let me show you guys how is that will be looks like. For example, I'm going to be launch Cydia right now here. And then also uh, you can take a look right now here. How is that loading a tiny uh, scroll out now here. How is it going to be? It looks like so I already customized it and I already put a color on it. So let me go ahead right now to show you guys how you can customize that. Of course, from the under the settings. So here you have uh, two different uh, kind of colors. If you go ahead and right now go to the activity uh, indicator color so you can top on a color and then you can also if you want to replace that color for your refresh indicator color you can top on it once you're done from that you will be see style just like what i show you guys anyway this one is called spoke let me go ahead right now and jump to talking about the next one and the next one is going to be the notch control this will be bring most and beautiful stuff into your notch here so you can take a look right now that you can play your music you can watch your weather and then also you can add the time into your notch this is how it's going to be it looks like so if we go ahead right now and jump under the settings here go ahead first of all and enable the tweak we have the modules here so you can simply just tap on it as you guys can see right now we have the color the weather the now playing and also we have the music control so you can add all of those into your notch as the uh, as I show you guys just like that and once you're done if you want to just bring the time for example or the music control anyway you like once you're done go ahead and reset bring your device so your device uh, will be apply all the changes once again if you guys looking to download this one this one is called the notch control okay so let me go ahead right now and jump to talking about the next one and the next one is going to be called the carrier modern this will be make you to change the tags on your carrier so you can put any name that you would like to and once you put the name go ahead and press on the apply this is will be change the whole name for you if i want to go ahead right now and jump and go to my lock screen to show you guys how that will be looks like you can take a look right now here that uh, the text will be different and it won't show my carrier anymore which is in my opinion is going to be really beautiful and nice style once again if you guys looking to download this one this one is called carrier mother let me go ahead right now to jump to talking about the next CD tweak and the next one is going to be called Qubit. So this one will be allow you to put or move your icons anywhere you would like to into your springboard. So how you can launch that, go ahead and tap on one of the apps here. Just hold on the apps and just hold on your status bar. This will be provide you with all the settings. So for example, to show you guys how is that will be work, if we go ahead and tap on the offset here will be bring and uh, sliders here so if you want to adjust your icons just like that if you want your icons up or down you can adjust that with the up slider here just like that so this is how is that week will be work and once you're done from everything just stop on done and how this is how is that week will be work my opinion is this is going to be looks like the epoxy 3 just like the same kind of tweak anyway so this one is going to be called cubate 
let me jump right now to talking about the most thing that I have right now or the newest setup on my lock screen. So you guys can take a look right now here that the Apple logo, the time and every single thing here on the bottom, everything that I'm going to be covering and talking about it. So first of all, I'm going to be talking about the Apple light here. So this is a widget and then you can place this one with the X and HTML. Let me show you guys because there is a lot of stuff to talking about it. So go to the lock screen here and top to find where is it. So this is the upper light here. So once you bring this one, this one has a lot of customized stuff. So if you guys go to the settings here, you can take a look that we have a lot of things. One of the things which is I really like it, you can play with the background of that widget. Also, if you want to play with your battery indicator, and then also we have the custom tax here, so you can add any kind of tax into it. And then also if you want to replace the or uh, choose any kind of font a color, you can do that. The font style, you can uh, change that, which is in my opinion is going to be really beautiful. So I already place it just like that. Let me go ahead right now and jump to talking about the next one, which is also I have it on my live screen. The next one will be called the Mac Win. So let me tap on this one here. And then also this one has different kind of stuff. So if I go ahead right now and tap on the settings of that widget here, you can take a look that we have the skill. And then also we have the account home, the dark mode if you want to use it. Also, if we have the blur mode if you want to toggle that. Here I have the home and I already put some text to it, which is my uh, channel name here to show you guys how that will be work. So once you're done from all the configuration, you need to make sure to press on done here at the top corner to make sure everything will be uh, applied on that widget. If I want to go ahead right now, again, into my lock screen, you can take a look right now here that the Cydia and then underneath, which is my channel name here. This is the widget that I already talking with you guys about it. By the way, if you guys asking about the time, the time will be came with the same uh, design of Apple, which is I already told you guys about it. So don't worry if you want to download or get the time here or the style of that time, you will get the both at the same time in the same widget. Okay, let me go ahead right now to speak about the next CD tweak. This one is going to be called the time up. You can see right now that the time, it wasn't like usual here at the top. So you can place the time anywhere you would like to with that week. If I go ahead right now and jump under the settings, you will be able using those sliders and also uh, other stuff that you can play around with your time anywhere you would like to. Also, if you want to set the status bar or play around with your status bar, add some colors, you will be able with that week. So this is how is that week will be work. And as I show you guys, this week will be make you able to move the time and the date in your lock screen anywhere you would like to. Once again, if you guys looking to download this one, this one will be called Time Up Keyboard X. This will be bring the iPhone X keyboard into the non X devices. You might see right now here, this is the iPhone X keyboard into the non X devices. So as far as I'm talking about the keyboard, there is another CD tweak. You can install it uh, beside that tweak, which will be the bar emoji. This will be bring the bar emoji here in the bottom of the keyboard, which will be same thing will be bring that iPhone X style keyboard into the non X devices. Let me jump right now to talking about the next one. The next one, I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you want to switch your page dots into square, you will be able to do that. So you can download a tweak called page squares. It will be bring that square and switch that dots into the square. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is the style of that tweak once you download the page squares.
let me jump right now to talking about the next seed this week will be the nocturnal so if you launch your control center you can see right now here that i have another module this will be control d if you already download the eclipse 12 which will be bring the dark mode so we decide if you want to go inside your settings enable or disable the dark mode into your iDevice you can set that tweak right away into your control center so you can control your dark mode right now right away from your control center so you can launch your control center and you can uh, turn off or turn on your dark mode into your iDevice so this one will be really useful if you want to download that tweak in your iDevice so once again if you guys looking to download this one this one called nocturnal swipe shot so this one will be make you to swipe in your spring board and take a screenshot let me show you guys three fingers on your spring board this will be take a screenshot for you so once again if you guys looking to download this one this one called swipe right now let me jump in talking about the mini xs so this one once you download it will be allow you to customize too many stuff into your jailbroken device so go ahead right now and enable the tweak if you want to if you want to keep the default mode or bring the iphone xs or the ipad and then also this will be make you to round it the corner and also play with the camera flashing the control center the keyboard and even the DAG here also if you want to launch the quick app it is available just go ahead and toggle that and then you will be able to bring most of the uh if as i told you guys keep it on default just like a normal iphone if you want to bring the iphone xs style or the ipad style go ahead after after that, once you're done from all the configuration, just you need to respring your device so your device will be take the effect. And this is the way about that tweak, which will be allow you to bring any kind of iPhone or iPhone XS or the iPad style in your Jellybook device. Once again, this one will be called Mini XS. Let's go ahead right now to talking about the next one, Notifycast. So if I want to launch my uh, notification here, you can see that I have my notification in different kind of style and even the color. So this is the Notifica here. If you want to go through the settings, which will be make you to customize a lot of things. First, I will go ahead and enable the tweak under the settings here. Save the settings or notification center notifications here. You can play around with a lot of different kind of stuff. Even you can play with the banners, with the widget, with the details, and you're playing and more than that. Each single one individual has different kind of settings as I show you guys. So you can go through and customize the stuff that you're looking for anyway so this is the notification and once again if you're looking to download this one this one called notifica weather 12 so if you guys might asking about what kind of widget that i have here in the bottom this is the weather 12 so which will be bring nice and beautiful uh, widget time and even the date and told you about how is the weather and today you can place that in your springboard or the lock screen Anyway, let me jump right now to the next one. If I want to go right now into my switcher, you can see the switcher that I have right now looks different. So I have the switcher here, the pages in the top, and even I have the control center in the bottom. This one be called the Gusto. So once you download this one, this one will be bring the full multitasking you can see the page that you have on your switcher and also the control center at the same time anyway let's go ahead right now and jump under the settings first of all go ahead and enable the tweak and you might see right now here you can enable disable the gusto from near and you can choose right now how you want to adjust the multi-site settings so you can choose multi-site or you can choose the side by side here but i choose already the uh, multi side which will be bring the page in the top and the control center at the bottom so right now if we go ahead and take a look for the quick actions here you can choose 
different kind of stuff you can play around with a lot of different kind of things from near and even if you want to bring the app lock here you can do that so in my opinion this is going to be really useful to bring the both at the same time once again if you guys look into download this one this one called the gusto and the last CD tweak that I want to talk on with you guys about it, it is a widget. You can download that widget into your lock screen, home screen. You might take a look right now on my background here, which is going to be a widget. It comes as a wallpaper. You can place that into your Jello broken device. The name for this one, you will be finding it in the description down below. This one is going to be the 07 animated. So you can download this one. In my opinion, it's going to be really beautiful to bring that kind of stuff different kind of colors at the same time in your supreme board and the lock screen once again if you guys looking to download this one this one it's a widget called 07 animated so anyway guys this is the most tweak that i want to share with you guys in today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget give the video a huge thumbs up and also make a short subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever i release a new video Catch you with the next one. Peace.